Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. I'm doing a series called What Makes This Singer Great and next up is Steve Walsh from Kansas. Uh, before we get started, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing to my channel, that'd be really cool. Uh, don't forget to ring that bell so I can keep more of these videos coming your way. And I have a singing course and the course is called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. You can find it right here at KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com. For those of you that want to learn how to sing, for those of you already fairly decent singer or for those of you that want to learn how to sing really great uh, we try to take the greatness of these guys in hopes that we can help make you great okay uh, with that said um, now what do I think of when I think of Steve Walsh well for one thing I think of just great vocals what a great singer uh, great keyboard player too very progressive but just great keyboard player I'll get to that in a minute but I think of great singing spot-on pristine vocals I love his vocal tone uh, his intonation his pitch his choice of notes you know just a fabulous uh, melodic uh, singer as far as you know great rock high range great rock um, singing um, and then songs that come to mind of course carry on my wayward son I did a version of that uh, I'll put that in the description so you can check and see how I did uh, myself singing it uh, dust in the wind right some of the earlier stuff um, point of no return right how long to the point of no return right um, I, like I said I think of his uh, ability to play keyboards amazing keyboard player um, he was also pretty athletic on stage you do things like handstands on his keyboard and stuff like that and so you know and then progressive the band Kansas could you imagine how good of an uh, instrumentalist you'd have to be or musician you have to be to be in Kansas just as an instrumentalist as a keyboard player much less that and a great singer so uh, with that said let's fire up uh, a Kansas piece and we'll go from there we'll talk about a singer a little bit more So um, I think of also incredible harmonies, right? So again, as we go back through all this giant, great catalog of stuff that they've had, um, you know, they've got just their harmonic structure, their ability. And let's face it, you know, it's pretty tough to become successful as a progressive band. And there were very few bands that were able to do that. I just covered Rush in another one of these here. And of course, there's some other good bands out there that were progressive. You know, early on, there was like Emerson, Lake and Palmer and, you know, some of the earlier, you know, bands. And then later, you know, there were a few more progressive bands that came out. You know, maybe you could call Queens Reich a, a progressive band. I certainly would call Dream Theater a progressive band. But these were trend setting guys. They kind of did it first and just did a phenomenal job of doing it. So they kind of uh, played, they were a beat to their own drum in that sense. And they were, you know, kind of doing their own thing and didn't really care so much about what everybody thought. Uh, they just want to be great musicians making great music. So that's what I think of when I think of Steve Walsh from Kansas. Tell me what you think. Please put it in the comment sections. Um, I want it to be well rounded and I don't want it just to be my opinion. I'd love to know what song do you think he did excelled in what made him great as a singer um, and then what you think of when you think of Steve Walsh and I know we had some streets remember the album streets and some of his like oh gosh he just had some really great ballads a guy could just sing a ballad like it's nothing so put in the comment sections what you think is great and I also do this by request so uh, if you have someone that you'd like me to do um, a reaction to for what makes a singer great that'd be cool and check out this next video